Our first competitor of the afternoon here on, a, on an overcast and rather humid afternoon in Gladstone, New Jersey. It is warm, Ken, but this is a brand new arena. I'll draw your attention to the footing out there. It is a man-made artificial surface, but it is phenomenal. It's the equivalent of having a very nice runner's track for the horses to go around on. It's perfect for this sport. Big sweeping turn, now into jump number two. We'll keep our eyes on that fourth jump. That ought to be just a, a real bit of a roll of the dice. And uh, let's talk a little bit about it now as Leslie has cleared that double at four, at three rather. I promise you this mare has never seen a jump like that before and she did run out to the side. That will be scored as three faults for the refusal. Leslie had to get very, very direct with this young horse. And again, Extreme is not certain that's a jump. There are no standards, no ground line for her to put her eye on. And she is not convinced that's something she should do. And I'm not sure that she's going to be the only one today that's going to have trouble with that number four. As you say, it just does not look like your typical jump. It doesn't at all, Ken. It's a tremendous test of control. The riders must get that combination done and then proceed straight towards this. No, that's and just not going to happen, unfortunately, for Extreme. Three refusals for Extreme and Leslie Burr. The Des Moines Limited International continues on prime. We've had two clears to date, Olympic champion Ludger Beerbaum and Swiss ace Jörg Friedli. As we look at America's next best hope, Leslie Burr aboard Extreme, just an eight-year-old Dutch-bred mare, veteran rider with a great resume, including an Olympic gold medal. This is a young horse. Nancy, you said you were disappointed with this horse or the performance in the Nations Cup. Do you think they can reload today and come out with a clear? I... It's possible, Ian. I think that the, because the horse is so young, eight years of age, to be jumping in this level of competition, it may be a little starstruck. And that's what happened in the Bank of Montreal Nations Cup. The first time out in the first round, Extreme came and she gave us 12 faults. I think she, just because she was so overly impressed. And yet in her second round, she was four faults. A vast improvement. Almost had a clear round. So perhaps... She's had enough time in this international arena here at Spruce Meadows that she's comfortable. She certainly has tremendous jumping ability. I don't think there's any question of the scope as you look at this mare power out over the fences. It might be the technical tricks that catch up as in coming off the water here. Handles that Du Maurier fence beautifully after the water. Now here is what's caused the most problems on the course so far. The double Liverpools leading into the next fence, the German Oxer. Clear through the double Liverpools. Now you have to set up, keep your horse from drifting out to the clock tower, and Leslie Burr rode that exquisitely. And extreme handling it, and then it catches up with her at the planks. Those tricky Canadian planks on very shallow cups cannot take the slightest of rubs. They come down for four faults. Now time becomes a pressing issue. And now you'll see the experience of Leslie kicking in as she not over hurries her mare extreme around the rest of the course, but certainly will keep up the pace to try and make it into the second round. Only two clears so far, as you mentioned, Jörg. Swiss ace riding Gizmo and Ludger from Germany and Sprehe rush on. Rattle at the in and the out of the triple. Just four faults for Leslie Burr. The second four fault trip for the United States this time put in by World Cup and Olympic veteran Leslie Burr aboard her eight-year-old mare Extreme. The time on that round 90.83 seconds. Now, Peter, for the USA, the 1984 team gold medalist, Leslie Burr Howard. Leslie riding extreme, a nine-year-old Dutch-bred gelding. Leslie had 14 faults in round one. Team USA standing third, coming in round two of this competition. Come on, Leslie, this is such a key ride. You know, Leslie had a little tough luck in the first round, and she just seems so determined. If she can put in a good score for us here, we really could be looking at silver and see how the cards play out. This is where she had her trouble in the last round. Come on, Leslie. She's gonna keep those rails up. Did she give you any indication of what she might be worried about most in this second round? She just wanted to make sure that her horse didn't spook and I'm thrilled she made it through. If Leslie can hold together, this is a very careful mare with a lot of jump. You'll notice her hind end is explosive, it tends to overpower the front end. Good spot. 
goes to the wall. This ride's becoming very physical. You can see it in her face, you can wow. hear it in the horse. Takes a little luck sometimes. Come on, Leslie. One more jump. Come on. Yes. Oh, she's gonna do it. We're looking good. The U.S. is definitely in a better position.